guys, I'm a wedding photographer here in New Jersey, uh, Jersey City to be exact, but I shoot in New York and New Jersey, and I wanted to share some must-have wedding photos. So this could be geared towards photographers and couples planning their wedding so they can get an idea of what wedding photos they need to capture or, or let their photographer know that's part of the shop list. Okay, so I've been a wedding photographer since 2018 here in New York and New Jersey. And you can follow me and my work on SeussMoments.com or on Instagram at Seuss Moments Weddings. So let's get started. Let's go right into these wedding photos and what needs to be captured on a wedding day. So first things first, we're gonna start, like I like to start on every wedding day, is the detail shots. So those are really important to get captured if you wanna make a wedding album after the wedding day and remember the details and just the story of the wedding. So maybe it's like something borrowed blue and new that needs to be captured so you can remember that and it's an heirloom piece. The invitation suites, because I know you spent a lot of money and a lot of time picking out the right invitations for your wedding that really brands your wedding in the way. If you have pets or whatever, you want maybe a photo in there or something that symbolizes your pet. Um, and if you're sticking with the brand of your wedding, maybe there's like color accents like gold or silver you wanna put into there. Sometimes I like to put in little antique keys or wax seal stamps really uh, go with your wedding. One of the things I like to ask is my couples to please ask their florist to arrive when I arrive on a wedding day with some loose florals so I can really play with the wedding details including the colors um, from your florals on the wedding day and it really adds some accents to the to uh, the details. So uh, just a quick list, here you go. I'll just throw it up here on YouTube for you to just screenshot or whatever of the things that you can incorporate in your flat lay wedding details. So this is the bridal prep photos portion of the day. So that's candid moments of you with your, your girls or even your guy friends that are there on your wedding um, day before you got, when you see your partner for the first time on the wedding day. So uh, this is pretty candid. Usually everyone's hair and makeup ready and I cross my fingers. That's the case because this is only like about 90 minutes um, being documented before you know we have to move on to the rest of the wedding day. Uh, so I like to start with everyone in their robes. So getting that robe shot with uh, champagne. And then we like to do stuff like before getting into the dress, maybe you wanna do a mini boudoir shoot, ask your photographer if that's something you're comfortable with before you get in the dress. Maybe it's like a mother figure or godmother, grandmother, whatever, or child in your life that's really important that can be with you hanging out before you get into the dress. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna put in a whole list here. You can screenshot of different moments that must be photographed on a wedding day. Uh, so you can share this with your photographer or if you're a photographer, make sure you have this on your back pocket so you capture for bridal prep photos. Here's a quick tip for the best bridal prep photos so they're picture perfect. I have a whole guide on that. You can read the blog post, click the link below to learn all the details, but from really quick advice is please book a hotel room if you do a hotel room that doesn't have an air conditioning unit in the window because most of the photos are taken by a window. Another thing is making sure there's a lot of space in there for everybody that's getting ready. There's a table, there is a adjustable bar stool type chair for your makeup artist especially um, but if not just let your makeup artist know like hey we don't have one so they can bring their own and obviously a floor length mirror so you can see yourself in the dress once you're all dressed up is also really great to have for your bridal prep photos those are just quick tips there's more advice in the blog if you want to read more for picture perfect bridal prep pictures on your wedding day and we're gonna talk about the groom portraits if for example this is a wedding uh, that has bride and groom. Now it could be bride and bride, groom and groom, whatever the case may be, but this is just an example for groom portraits because that's most of the time when I'm photographing. For groom portraits, usually there's a second photographer, especially if the groom is getting ready off-site to photograph. This is about an hour process. As soon as they arrive, the groom is already in his pants, belt, and shirt. Everyone else should be fully dressed. That's the groomsmen, any father figures, and and so on that's in the in the room with them. Maybe he has a groomswoman with him or whatever. They need to be fully dressed because in his getting ready photos, we want everyone already dressed getting him ready. 
Now, they could be without their tie or the boutonniere or whatever, and then that way the groom can help them get ready at the same time so it's fun, candid photos. Before that even starts is also detail shots that the second photographer will be shooting. So having his, like, his, his boutonniere, his tie, his shoes, his, you know, maybe something borrowed as well, watch, cufflinks, things like that. Some really fun photos to capture for both the bride and the groom is opening gifts, reading letters is really special. So that moment could be captured as well. And I think it's really beautiful to watch if, you know, it's an emotional moment as they read or open that gift from their partner. All right, so moving on to one of my favorite parts of a wedding day is first looks. Now you could do first looks with your parents, for example, and those are private moments in the prep portion of the day. But let's move forward to the first look of the bride and groom or bride and bride and groom. And this is one of the iconic moments of a wedding day is when they see each other for the first time. It's super emotional. I recommend it's intimate and private, but some couples want their wedding party there. That's totally up to you and what you prefer. But um, the first look is private. It's maybe like 10 minutes at the time, but the second photographer is focusing on the bride's reaction and the main photographer is focusing on the groom's reaction, for example. But yeah, for your must-have wedding photos, let's move on. It's the portraits. It's the fine art portraits between you and your partner on the wedding day. You want a mix of portraits here, uh, different styles, okay? Candid, pose, traditional, looking at the camera. You want full body. You want three-quarters body. You want close-ups, very intimate moments. Um, really some fun prompts to do, too, is just sitting there and talking about maybe what you're looking forward to the wedding day or what was your favorite moment in the past year together that you can recall or whisper in each other's ear maybe in a really silly sexy voice what your favorite vegetable is and then spell it out and it's just really fun cackling moments and usually they take about 30 45 minutes just depending on what you're looking for as far as locations um, and how big your venue is if you want to cover it all indoor and out and your photographer will guide you on that but usually it's around the 30 to 45 minute mark right after the wedding portraits is wedding party photos so having everyone ready for that hopefully not intoxicated either we need to take these pictures so it's the group shot everyone together then it's just the bride side and then their individuals. And then it's the groom side, and then their individuals with the groom. Now, if there are family in each of the parties, we'll also do that as well with individuals, with the bride maybe, with some of the groomsmen or whatever, vice versa, because they're family members. And then if there's groups, so maybe they're like friends from high school or friends from college, you'll also wanna capture that as well. So then well, after the wedding party photos are done, we want the family ready to go for their pictures and usually it's just the immediate family members. Anyone super close to the bride and groom will get these photos before the ceremony. And these are photos also you wanna consider that they will be framed on the wall. And every photographer should ask this list from their couple before the wedding day that should be included in the questionnaire and it needs to be super detailed. And this includes the relationship to the bride and groom and their first name. So when the list is being um, called out, it's respectful being like, hey, bride and bride's dad for a picture. Instead of that, it should be, hey, you know, bride being Jessica, for example, Jessica and Ronnie, it's time for you to, for your photo. So it's like more respectful when you can call, call them by their first name and everyone loves hearing their name, right? So. I tell my couples no more than 15 groupings if you want to get it done within 30 minutes. If their list is a lot more than 15 groupings, either A, we extend the time of family photos, or B, we capture it more informal during the reception. After the family photos, I like to give a 30-minute buffer for me to set up my gear at the, uh, the ceremony. And then it gives the couple time to relax and everything before the ceremony. For must-have wedding photos, you want to capture the ceremony decor, um, you know, the, the altar, how that looks like, any floral designs, the reservation signs, any kind of, you know, printouts that were made, any signage, welcoming signage, things like that, capture that. Um, those details before the ceremony begins and then as well as when the guests start to 
trickle into their seats you want to capture them if they're together as like a group like family members definitely people in the front row because usually those are very important people couples you know anyone you know everyone's gone dressed up for this occasion just capture them in their moments and then a lot of them are seeing each other for the first time in a very long time or giving hugs and things like that. So you want to capture those moments, of course. Obviously, the must-have wedding photos for a ceremony is walking down the aisle. Maybe it's the father giving away the bride or mother giving away the bride. <laughs> Maybe it's grandma's walking down the aisle as flower girls. Whatever it is, capture everybody walking down the aisle and then the reactions of the guests during the ceremony as the ceremony happens. Now, not every wedding, wedding ceremony, will have access for the photographer to get to the front. And this becomes very difficult to capture the reactions of the guests in the front row, especially the crying mom and dad as the vows are being exchanged, things like that. So work with what you can do. Um, and some venues don't allow flash, but flash is highly recommended for indoor shots. Um, especially at a ceremony. So must have wedding photos, of course, are the emotional moments happening during the ceremony. The first kiss, the ring exchange, vow exchanges, their reactions, the, the wedding party reactions in, in the front, all the details happening, maybe the bridesmaids dresses, the floral bouquets that they're holding, their hair, everything happening capture it. So must have wedding photos in this moment during cocktail hour is the detail shots of the reception. So the empty ballroom, for example, we want to capture all the aesthetics there, the wide shot, the close up of all the tablescapes, the florals, uh, candles, everything you see in there is going to be very special to the couple because it was carefully designed you know, leading up to this wedding day, maybe their planner or coordinator, the venue helped create this beautiful design based on the couple. So just capture it. And then there'll be a moment during cocktail hour when the couple is in the empty ballroom to capture them dancing together alone in this beautiful space or maybe doing a mock cake cut um, because they don't want to do a big show of cake cutting later on in the night. Uh, there's just so many things. You could do a sweetheart table photo. I love these because it's usually one of the most beautiful parts of the wedding reception is the sweetheart table. It makes a statement in there. Now, for the wedding reception, as people start to come in, some must-have wedding photos are going to be the introductions of the couple, the wedding party, the parents coming in, doing their little shimmy dance or whatever, and then the crowd reactions to that. I love that. Um, and then obviously the first dances, the speeches, the if there's a cake cut, any special entertainment, and of course the dancing shots. You want to do a mix of wide and a mix of close-up shots, reactions. I love bringing out my ultra-wide lens, the 14 to 24 for this, when there's a lot of people on the dance floor to get those dramatic results. Um, and these are some of the best wedding photos you can capture too. Um, and usually in the receptions, about two and a half to three hour mark into the reception is all you need for wedding photos. But some couples will say, I want you until the end of the night and that's okay too. But those are some must have wedding photos. And um, not everybody likes this, but for me, I love capturing nighttime shots. So you can really ask your photographer if they're down for that for a nighttime photo, especially if your venue is lit up at night or if you know, there's some dramatic firework show or whatever is going to happen on your wedding day. But, you know, I hope this is super helpful. You can click the blog post below to really get a full guide on all the must-have wedding photos. Um, and guys, happy wedding planning and hope to chat soon. So leave a comment below, excuse me, leave me a comment below if you have any questions or maybe you found something helpful in this video. Thanks. Um, and bye. Have a good one.